Hello everyone, and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Today, thanks to Rolls-Royce UK, I'm taking you on an in-depth exterior and interior tour of this 2021 Rolls-Royce Ghost. For further information of all Rolls-Royce products, please find their contact details in the description of the video. The modern incarnation of Ghost began in 2009, when it was unveiled at the Frankfurt Motor Show, and was based by up to 20% on the 7 Series BMW of the time. Other than a few updates, this variant stayed in production until 2014, when the Ghost Series 2 came out and introduced many aesthetic updates. However, Ghost was first introduced into the Rolls-Royce vocabulary in 1906, in the form of the Silver Ghost. Moving to present day, the 2021 Ghost is hailed as the most advanced Rolls-Royce ever, and I will explore why throughout this video, as we move from one element to another in depth. I will also be making comparisons to its predecessor throughout the video to show changes and enable some form of context. Now based on a new non-BMW Rolls-Royce aluminium chassis, this latest iteration of Ghost comes in at 5,546mm long, an increase of 147mm, 2,148mm wide, an increase of 200mm, 1,571mm high, an increase of 21mm, and has an unladen weight of 2,490kg, 100kg of this just being for sound deadening. Now moving to the powertrain, the bonnet can be unlatched with two pulls of the lever found to the left of the driver's footwell here. With the spirit of ecstasy automatically retracted, the large bonnet can then be lifted straight up and self-supported on two struts. Ghost is now powered by the same front mid-mounted 6.75 litre twin turbo V12 found in Phantom. It produces the same brake horsepower, but with less torque, 563 and 850 respectively, as opposed to Phantom's 900 Nm. This output produces an impressive 0 to 60 mph or 100 km per hour time of 4.8 seconds, and a limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. This marks a reduced 0 to 62 time by one tenth, and the same top speed as the predecessor. When finished in the engine bay, the bonnet needs to be brought down quite assertively, and when secured, the spirit automatically ascends. Now moving away from the engine, we can go down to the wheels. Here we find the 21 inch front and rear 10 spoke part polished variants, which are one of five options that range from 19 to 21 inches. Braking is provided by 398mm front and 395mm rear discs. In front of these is the innovative planar suspension system. A new upper control arm is attached towards the top of the front double wishbones and rear multi-link setup to absorb even more impacts and vibrations. This further reduces the sensation felt in the cabin that has already been dampened by the adaptive air suspension. New Ghost also comes with all-wheel drive and all-wheel steering that enables greater traction and enhanced turning capabilities. Now we've finished the model overview, we can start the exterior in-depth tour from front to back. The front of Ghost has taken on a much more angular aesthetic. Starting from the bottom, we find new mud flaps that help the dispersion of air and water for a more efficient form. Moving up, the wide intake has a much more angular lower rim and less central divisions than its predecessor. Centrally, what I believe to be the radar remains. It now runs up on either side to join the new chrome strips, keeping in line with the design language of new Phantom. Looking closer at the sides, we can find a new small slit that allows air to flow more freely around the front and be controlled better along the side of the car. The LED daytime running light strip that was here in the previous model has been removed. Continuing to move laterally, the new line that rises up and along the sides has a wider and more flowing form, as it was inspired by luxury yachts. Moving centrally, the iconic chrome grille is also more angular and the bonnet now wraps around the top of it rather than sitting back from it. The inside edge of the slats has been coated to reduce glare and a new LED illumination option is also available. At the top, we find one of the cameras from the Park Assist system and an engraved crest. Moving out, and we come to the lights that have also been redesigned. The LED daytime running lights no longer wrap around the inner complex, but instead have taken on a much more angular form and run from inside out. There are four adaptive LED main beams in from this and a Rolls-Royce crest behind them. Fulfilling the now more angular aesthetic, the bonnet also creates a prominent eyebrow over the light complexes. Moving to the bonnet itself, we see it has been widened to create the light eyebrows, and now ends on either side by the body line, rather than tapering from the windscreen to the grille. The spirit of ecstasy is now also integrated into the bonnet rather than the grille surround, as was in the previous model. Once enabled, the spirit can descend and ascend upon locking and unlocking. Moving back, we come to the large windscreen with two wipers below. 
Continuing back to the roof, and we see the sunroof option has been specced here, but the shooting starlight headliner is also available. Ghost offers a combined MPG of 18. We can now move down to Ghost's lateral aspect, where we find the nautically inspired hull line mentioned earlier, and under it a smooth side skirt. As we move up, we come to the iconic side indicator with engraved logo. Now moving up and along, we come to the wing mirrors that still stand tall on each side, but now come with a more square aesthetic and a higher flowing line. Here, we can also find further cameras for the 360 degree park assist system. Down and back from these are the distinctive large chrome handles that now come with Phantom's touch to close system that I'll demonstrate later in the video. Moving back up and around, we come to the rectangular rear window that comes with an integrated LED brake light at the top. Now moving down the back of Ghost, we come to the single piece chrome boot trim. In comparison to its predecessor, this has been slimmed, but the central logo has been enlarged. Just under this, we find the reversing camera. On either side of this, we find the rear light complexes that have also been redesigned. They hold a more sleek design and now come with white reversing LEDs centrally with the red brake LEDs outside, as opposed to being all red. The rear bumper below this is much smoother than in the previous car, as it has lost its lower ridge. The chrome exhaust tip surrounds are found generally in the same place, concealing the car's four pipes. Finally, there's a new hidden undercar diffuser that further aids airflow and efficiency. Now we've finished the exterior tour, we can move inside. Ghost has a standard Coupoi double R key with a customizable leather back and buttons on the front for lock and unlock. Once unlocked, the door can be opened easily by pulling the large handle and door outwards. Inside, we find a new interior, here specced with grace white leather with tailored purple elements and open pore obsidian ios wood inlays. We will explore all of the interior features shortly, but we will start with the doors. The top starts with a chrome physical lock indicator. A new leather panel joins the chrome and now falls further over the edge and stops before the end of the window and, as before, comes with the integrated door handle. Below the enlarged leather top panel is a slim wood inlay. Under this, the large leather upholstered central panel is now slightly smaller but can still feature a symbol such as the double R or Spirit of Ecstasy. Moving along, we find the chromed handle in generally the same position, as are the two speakers from the 18-speaker bespoke audio system that actively uses the arches and roof to augment the sound experience. A new slimmer leather upholstered armrest is below that now comes with the window, mirror and boot controls integrated into it. Continuing down, we come to another new inlay that contains the same buttons, memory, massage and heating controls that were found here in the previous model. The final feature of the door interior is the newly designed open storage area that is now gently illuminated and now slopes down instead of holding quite a rectangular form. Now moving inside, we start with the sill. Ghost has a standard ride height of 116mm, with this being reduced by 25mm in low and increased by 25mm in high. The sill itself is quite wide, but one that can be easily navigated. This car comes with an illuminated Ghost treadplate, one of four options. As we move along and up, we come to a curved leather panel that brings us to electric parking brake control, then the engine on-off and exterior light controls and first manually adjustable air vent. Moving right from here and we come to the steering wheel. It still holds a slim circular form, but comes with updated inlays on either side, and buttons that offer controls for the GPS and sonar guided cruise control system on the left, and volume, call and voice controls on the right. Just behind the right side of the wheel, we find the shifter for Ghost's 8-speed ZF Automatic satellite-aided gearbox that aims to always provide an effortless yet optimised drive. Ahead of this is the new digital instrument cluster. Despite now being fully digital, it is still broken into three from left to right. Power reserve, speeder with basic trip and fuel level, and engine temperature with time and outside temperature to the right. Above this is the wide leather upholstered dash that comes with a HUD projector in front of the driver and venting and a speaker centrally. If we move down from here, we come to the new 10.25 inch touchscreen infotainment display that is fitted with the BMW based Rolls Royce user interface. We can start on My Vehicle for vehicle and system settings, to adjust whether or not the spirit descends and ascends when the car is locked, driver profiles, vehicle status, driving information and a digital copy of the owner's handbook. Next is the navigation system, where an address can be manually input or selected from the map itself thanks to the new touch functionality. 
media and radio comes after for the DAB Digital Radio, media via USB and Bluetooth, and the optional TV tuner. Communication is next, and offers access to the contacts list and recent calls, the ability to make calls and memos, and access Rolls-Royce assistance. Notifications comes after. The screen will show service and car information. Applications is next, and can be used to access Rolls-Royce assistance, message, and personalize the menu setup. And finally, a quick list can be accessed by pressing the icon in the top left. To the right of the screen is the analog clock, Finished here in the Indulge option, two other aesthetics are also available. To the clock's right, we find the new illuminated fascia option, that is crafted from over 850 individual stars, placed into the piano black fascia. Moving back to the centre, we come to the dual manly adjustable air vents. This new system removes the central vent from the previous car. In between, we find the volume rotary with the hazard light button and internal lock button on either side. Underneath these, we come to the multimedia, track selection and skip track controls for the media system. The final controls on this part of the central column are for the dual zone climate system with fan speed and air temperature either side of buttons for seat and steering wheel heating and front and rear demist, recirculation and AC below. Moving down onto the flat section of the central column, we start with the veneer lid for the dual cup holders that need to be pushed back to release. The main physical control array for the infotainment system is behind this, from left to right parking sensors, car raise and lower, and reversing camera. Then we have the main, multi-action rotary, with direct selection controls for back, media, communication, menu, map, nav, and options, and finally the front window controls. Behind this is a small veneer flap that can be easily opened to reveal a small storage area. The final component of the central column is the padded and leather upholstered armrest. It can be unlatched using the button to its front and lifted up to reveal quite a large storage area containing USB and 12 volt connections and a device holder. Moving away from the central column, we can focus on the electrically adjustable, massaging, heated and ventilated seats, which have also been redesigned. The top of the leather is now integrated into the outer rim instead of being separate. We can find the movement controls along the sides for back and forth, up and down, tilt and to extend. And in front of the seats we find these thick lambdal floor mats. Now we finish in the front we can move to the rear. But before we can do this, we first need to utilise the door's power close function. We can then use the large rear handle to pull back the rear coach door through for the updated rear. Just as with the front, we can start the rear tour with the doors. They start with the same enlarged leather strip and inlay below, then the embossed panel, chrome handle and dual speakers, the armrest, buttons and large illuminated storage area with USB inputs. The final feature here is one of Rolls-Royce's most iconic, the umbrella. It can be fully customised and is ejected by pressing the button underneath hard, and then pressing the umbrella firmly into its waterproof and air-managed cylinder to secure it back into position. Now sitting inside, we can take a POV tour around and then focus on all of the individual elements in more detail. Please note, the side lights are just for display purposes here. Now looking in more detail, we can start with the adjustable air vents on the pillar. Moving right, we come to the rear of the driver's seat that comes with the picnic table option. This can be lowered by pressing the button on the left. Once lowered, the button on the right can be depressed to deploy the screen. These screens contain all of the main infotainment menus, My Vehicle, Navigation, Media and Radio, Communication and Applications, in addition to Active Trip Information and also Touchscreen. Once finished, they can be raised in the same way they are lowered.
Moving down, we come to the large and expandable storage areas, and below these, further lounge or mats and feet ventilation. Moving left, the central column projects into the rear between the front seats. It starts with two manly adjustable air vents surrounded by veneer. Below these, we find controls of the rear dual zone system, and finally a CD DVD player with dual headphone inputs. Moving directly back from this, we come to the optional center console. We can start the tour of it from the bottom by ejecting the dual cup holders. Then moving up, a small veneer lid can be raised to reveal the controls of the screens just seen. A larger lid behind this can also be raised to reveal a sizable, illuminated storage area. And finally, we find the rear seat movement controls. Moving back and up from this, we come to a leather tag. By pulling on this and opening the door behind it, we reveal two champagne flutes. All this comes with the rear centre console option that is specced here. There are three rear seat configuration options, two of which being immersive with central occasional and immersive with centre console, as shown here. These options come with fully individual side seats with different centre options. The final is the lounge seat option that consists of all three seats being joined. Now moving away from the seats and looking up, there is a large rear lighting console. Moving laterally to the rear pillar, we find now well-known buttons that can be used to close the rear doors. The new interior motors that close the doors can also be utilised to help open the doors. The handle needs to be kept pulled, and with a light push, the doors open. And as we're now finished in the rear, the doors can be closed with the same touch function as in the front. We can now move to Ghost Boot that can be opened with the button on the key. Ghost has a very light and open boot that can be colour coded. It has a max capacity of 500 litres, an increase of 10 litres over its predecessor. Looking inside, we find the med kit in the left indentation, the bolt from the centre console central, and an access panel in the right indentation. Once finished with, the boot lid can be auto closed by pressing the button on the underside of the lid. Now moving back to the front briefly, we can look at Ghost's final features. There are several roof options, including the Starlight Headliner, but the panoramic sunroof has been specced here, that comes with the full-length leather cover. Just ahead of this, and on either side, are the large leather upholstered sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors and microphones for the hands free system. In between these is another control array, with another microphone and buttons for SOS, the sunroof and the front interior lights. Finally, we find the seamless rearview mirror below. So that concludes my in-depth exterior and interior tour of this 2021 Rolls-Royce Ghost. Thanks again to Rolls-Royce for allowing me to film. All of their contact details are in the video description. Please subscribe for the latest content and until next time, thanks for watching.